Yo, what's up guys, this is Skills, and in today's video, we got you back with another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. This is going to be new updates and new things that we are going to be getting within the next week or so. So today, we're going to talk about um, a couple things from the news. So if you guys want to join this Discord, you guys can. Uh, it, it, will, it will be in the link in the description below. The boy, SDSGC Info, has made this, so he's an admin of this. And of course, we have all the other YouTubers that do make content on this game. They are also the founders of this. Of course, I am one of them. So this is going to be basically the information that we just got for all the new stuff that's coming out. So the first thing, um, we just want to talk about this real quick, that they did change the maximum number of items in the warehouse. Before it was 300, now it's 400. Then the training cave had been adjusted uh, level 1, 2, and 3 with the pumpkins. It goes a little bit higher in the CP. And then other features uh, that they fix, like miscellaneous fixes, um, where they fix and where a corrosion was applied on super boss battle with Gother and a couple other things. Then you have the boss battles. Uh, they're half AP. Farm stages are half AP. Uh, SP dungeons are half AP. Village gold donation bonus event will be going on from this time frame. SP dungeon gold bonus as well. Then we have some dev notes for from today. Leona's grand party event. So the Leona's grand party event is Elizabeth and the Seven Deadly Sins are preparing for a grand banquet celebrating King Baltra's birthday. Can the Leona's grand banquet be held safely? It is an event with many gifts for players so please join us so this is going to be another thing going on really really soon so it's gonna be a birthday gift or a birthday thing for king baltra which is elizabeth's dad basically so now we're gonna be seeing a new event from that that's actually really good then you have the world challenge raid event so this is a new boss raid so this is gonna be I don't, i've never seen this monster before i don't even know if this even belongs in the show but a new boss, uh, a new raid boss will appear that will defeat all players and monsters. Rewards can be exchanged via an exchange shop. So you're gonna see. Uh, I guess that's basically the how he looks. It's a, it's a big crab. Uh, something. I guess this is gonna be where everyone does this. Where we're gonna get. Um, I guess however many times people do it. Uh, this might be for like I guess. I don't know if it's gonna be the Korean and the JP version. But we're, the amount of times we beat this, we're going to get more uh, points. And that might be a big deal for this. That's what it seems like because it says defeat all players and monsters. Uh, so that's actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, we'll go more in depth with this once uh, we have more information. And when this is out completely, I'll actually go ahead and try this for myself. And I'll probably do a collab with one of the boys on how to beat this event. Then we have a time attack event. So this time attack uh, uh, missions will appear as a daily mission. Two time attack missions are given per day and you can earn rewards if you complete it within three hours of the start of the mission. Rewards include SSR equipment, selection tickets, anvils, blue crystals, and etc. So if you see right here, uh, anvils, seems like that's what the anvils will be with these, uh, I don't know what this paper is. But we'll be, uh, we'll be able to do this from here and it seems like um, we have the more options I guess when it comes to doing uh, stuff with Merlins like uh, level ups on the thing where you can make them and you are the gears to you are. So well, I'll have to look more into this as well but it seems like we will be getting a lot more things coming out for this new update. So that looks like it's going to be a promising update for sure and then of course we have right here the change of wandering shop. Wandering Shop uh, Asset visits a village once a day, but the number of visits will be changed so that more players can use it. By visiting a village for one hour and moving to the next village for two hours, uh, Asset or Asset can be visit visit eight times a day. That's okay. We're gonna have to look into that because that's it's it's gonna be definitely important if you can if you can visit it eight times a day. And then addition of equipment engravement characters. Guild Thunder and Gorgias will be added to the set character list of those that can have equipment engraved by Merlin and Borhat. So you definitely want to work on Guild Thunder, especially uh, the green one. He is very, very good. The SR one. Get him to uh, UR and then work on his uh, UR equipment. But work on Meliodas first, if anything. Uh, number one, you can now use Barrel's Vision to check stat increase via passives. Okay. And then number two, taunt will be improved so that the target can be selected even when skill is activated. Basically, rip green DN. That kind of sucks. Okay, so uh, we'll look more into that once there's more information. Uh, basically, that's all that's been out so far from here. But the main thing I wanted to sh talk about is this raid. Uh, seems like it's going to be a pretty big deal once this comes out. And then I'm not sure what kind of rewards we'll get from here because it doesn't tell us yet. But it should be a lot of good things from here. 
So hopefully we do have a lot to go on for this game. Uh, hopefully we can actually keep on playing this game and it just keeps on growing with with it as well. So if you guys want to join this Discord, you guys want to see more of 7 Deadly Sins, make sure to go ahead and drop a like onto today's video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new and of course comment down below if you guys are excited for all of the new information that's coming out for this game so join this discord guys so you can you can always get notified on this and you guys ever need to get any kind of help with demon raids or anything like that you guys can join this and of course you can help you can uh help each other out in here so you can actually play better for this game so that's basically what we're gonna do for this video honestly uh, i don't think there's too much to it it's just a quick news video on it so i'm not gonna go too crazy with it but if you guys did enjoy drop a like subscribe if you get brand new and that's gonna do it for today's video guys have a great day